Hi there. In this video on Premiere Productions, I'm going to walk you through what it actually takes to take an existing project and break it up into a production. Now, I want to stress this video should not be the primary way that you're working. Uh, we really, really recommend building productions as you go during the actual filming and the actual creation of your content. Um, but in rare cases where you may have started off using a single project and something is kind of outgrown working in a single project, or now you want to take on some assistant editors that are going to help you with this, uh, it can be necessary to convert an existing project into a production. Um, again, always better to, to do it natively. Just start with a production and kind of go from there. But if you have to do it, I'm going to try and teach you the uh, best practices in how to make that go, where everything will stay reassociated, everything will stay associated with each individual piece, uh, and everything will stay linked. So to get started, I'm actually going to start in Premiere, and uh, I'm going to start, let me just open up this project here that I have, just to kind of showcase what this looks like. Um, this is your typical project where I've got a media folder with a bunch of subfolders um, kind of organized in some different ways. And I've got a few sequences that somebody has been editing. And it's, we've made the decision that uh, we now need to convert this. Very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this project. I don't want to get confused with any type of standalone project versus what's actually living inside of a production. And at this point, I haven't created the production yet. So the very first thing we're going to do is create a production. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and click on File, New Production. And I'm going to go ahead and call this one Conversion, since that's what we are doing today. You can see the other options in that panel there in one of our earlier videos in this series. But you can see now we have a pretty much a blank uh, production with that single untitled project. I'll leave that open for the time being. But the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click in this empty space in the production panel and choose Add Project to Production. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and take that project that I want to convert and I'm going to import it into the production. It'll make a copy of it, it'll add everything over, and we now have this project as part of this production. Now I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it to open it up here so that we can kind of start taking a look at what's going on inside of this. And this is where I'm going to make some choices about how I wanna organize this for multiple editors to work with. And so one of the ways we wanna do that is probably break up the media into a bunch of smaller projects that each have the same structure as what we currently have inside of this media folder, which I can see here has just a lot of random stuff in it, including a couple sequences that I probably might not even bring across over into my production because I don't think they're very useful. So what I'm going to do here is start to kind of uh, take this organization in this single project and replicate that in the production panel. So I might wanna create a folder called media. So we'll go ahead and create a folder called media. I always like to have my media folder at the top of the list. So I'm gonna put an 01 at the beginning of it and call it media. And so that will just make sure that that is always the top item in my production. Then within this, I'm gonna go ahead and start twirling down some of these folders here. And I can see I have some folders for things called Hills Ride, Forest Ride, Tunnel Ride. I'm going to focus on those three folders to begin with, just to give you an idea of what's, uh, what's to come here. Um, as I look inside of each of these folders, I can see that each of these folders contains clips. That's a really good indication that this folder should become a Premiere Pro project by itself. So what I'm going to do is, with the media folder selected, I'm going to go come down here and click on new project and I'm going to create a folder called 01 hills ride. So I'm basically mapping and uh, mimicking what the original folder was called in the standalone project to create this new project. Now, this is where you might have to kind of play around with the organization of your different panels on your screen. I'm going to take this project 
01 Hills ride. And I'm going to bring it over and dock it at the bottom of this area where I have my production folder. Because what I want to be able to do is I want to see the original project called Project to Production. And I want to be able to see this Hills ride project at the same time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to twirl down the folder called Hills ride. And I'm going to select everything that's in this project or in this particular folder. And here is the crucial part. I'm not going to copy anything. I'm going to move it. That's right. I'm actually going to modify this project to production. And remember, when we import it into the production folder, we made a copy of it. That version that's on the desktop is still sitting there. That's going to remain untouched. That's kind of a nice backup element. If I don't like productions and I want to roll back, it's still sitting there. But the idea here is I want to make sure and maintain all of the links between, um, you know, the associations between these clips and the sequences they live on. And so in order to do that, I need to move things, not make copies. When you're in a production, when you grab clips and you drag them from one project to another, it moves them. It does that automatically. That's a little bit of a different behavior when you're inside of a production is dragging something from one project to another is actually moving that element. If you need to make a copy, you can hold down the command or control key um, and that will make a copy. But the important thing here, here is basically I have this Hills Ride project. I want to make sure that the Hills Ride folder in the original standalone project is empty. And now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit save project to save those changes. And I'll also, in fact, it's also a good habit to save the standalone project at the same time so that all that data, it now, all the sequences that used clips from the Hills Ride folder now know that those clips now live in a completely separate project. Um, now I'm going to continue doing this exact same thing with the Forest Ride. I'll select my media project here in the, or media folder in the production, and I'll say new project, and I'll call this one 02 Forest Ride. And so now I have a project called Forest Ride. Again, I'm going to go ahead and dock it over in this same area over here. And notice that I'm leaving the Hills Ride project open. During this conversion process, I'm going to, everything that I create, I'm going to leave it open. That is going to ensure that metadata is getting passed between the different projects to maintain all of those associations with the various sequences. So now in this forest ride project, I'm going to take all the clips that are in the forest ride folder, select them all, and again, drag to move them into the forest ride project. I'm going to go ahead and use, there is a menu command called save all. This is something that can be mapped to a keyboard shortcut. And a lot of productions users will actually map the command S or control S to just save everything since they're working in many small projects at any given time. We'll go ahead and save everything. So now I've basically taken all these media projects are now living in the media folder. I still have the original project um, is still open here. I've also got this untitled project that I probably want to do something with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call this one 05 sequences. And I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I've accidentally put it. see, I had the media folder selected there. I'm going to actually just drag it to pull it out. So it's on the top level with the media folder. So when I twirl up, my media project, I can still see my sequences folder. I'm going to change the name of this untitled project. And I am going to call this one Beach Carl. And in fact, I might want to give it a number as well. Since I don't know where it's going to be, I'm going to call it 50 Beach Carl. Since this is my editing project, I've been editing some of the footage of the beach. 
That's why I've got my name in it and I'm calling it Beach Carl. And I'm going to drag this and put it and move it into the sequences folder so that it's living in there. And just like I did before, I'm going to leave the original standalone project in the original location on the screen, but I'm going to move the Beach Carl project over to this left hand side here. So you know what I'm going to put in this? I'm going to put one item. I'm going to put my edit. So now I'm moving the sequence over into the Beach Carl project. So now I know that all my footage from the beach uh, or all my selects that I've made from the beach are now going to live inside of this project here. And it's a sequence based project. Again, we'll hit save all. Just saves all that metadata. And from here, I would continue to work through this. I would go into the tunnel project and probably make a media project for tunnel ride footage. Uh, the rest of these, I would make some decisions. I've got a drone project. I've also got some other sequences floating around in here. I can see that here's one called Red Cuts. Um, maybe I know that um, this is actually a sequence that Karina is working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add her name onto this. So I want to make sure that she has an editing project that's separate from um, the any other editing projects. So here in the production, again, I will create a new project and I will call it Karina. And then I'm going to move that Red Cuts sequence into Karina's project. Now, I just almost did something there that you shouldn't try and do. You can never take media and drag it and drop it into the production panel. What I need to do is make sure that I've got that project open and I've got it available to me on screen here. So that way I can drag it and drop it and I can see that sequence has left the standalone project and it's now living in the Karina project. So by doing this, by having all of these different items open, by saving everything during this conversion process, it's going to ensure that as you're moving clips so that they're now living in separate projects from the sequence, eventually I should get to a point where this original standalone project is just sort of an empty shell of itself. Nothing should be left in it that I'm gonna be actively using moving forward. Or I can treat it as an archive if I have a bunch of old folders and stuff here I don't really think I'm gonna to touch. I can just leave it in the production if I need it for some reason. Um, but pretty much everything that's actively being worked on should either go into a media project or a sequence project within the production so that we can continue to move forward. Um, once this happens, you should be ready to go. And at this point, that's where you, again, just want to make sure save everything you've worked on. And that's where you can start to close things down that you're not going to be working on. So I could probably at this point close the original standalone project. I'm not going to be working in that so much. I'm going to be working in my Carl project using this beach uh, setup here. And then I might be adding some additional footage from maybe the forest ride project. So I might open that up. And this is where I could probably move this back over here to start cutting some of the forest footage um, into my editing sequence um, as, as necessary. So by doing this, all the relinking should stay linked up. Right clicking on this clip, revealing it in the project should go to the uh, you know, this particular clip here is part of the forest. So when I right click on this and say reveal in project, it should go to the forest project. If you ever have a situation where you right click on something and say reveal in project and it goes back to the original production, like what you just saw here, that means that maybe you might have had some duplicate clips or you might have had some footage that wasn't quite organized as well as you thought it was. Now I can see, hey, wait a minute, there's another folder in here and it has some additional forest footage in it, I'm going to put that in the forest project. So again, I'll take the forest project, move it over here, come back over. And this is a case where I might want to, instead of twirling down a folder here, I might actually want to double click on that folder so that I can look at this in a uh, thumbnail view and I can try and find and see, well, wait a minute, where is that forest footage 
ah, there's a bunch of it in here. So now I can select a bunch of this and I can choose to move all of this over into the forest project as I'm starting to organize things. Hopefully that helps. Again, this is uh, just one video in a whole series of videos where we dive deep into production. So please like and subscribe to find the rest of this series. Um, hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Uh, please leave some comments down below if you have any questions. And thanks again for watching.